Let me show you a quick way to create a countdown timer that looks pretty snazzy in OBS like that. This is just a quick little video I'm going to throw together to show you how to create a quick little timer within OBS. You don't need plugins, you don't need to buy extra stuff or anything else. You just are able to turn it on, you're able to set the time, and you're done. Let's go over to OBS and create this thing. Now here I am in OBS. I'm don't have anything set up. And if you're wondering why my OBS looks awesome, well, you'll see that in my new OBS course and how you do that. But that's not the purpose of this video. So what I wanna do is I wanna create that timer in here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a scene and I'm gonna call this count down timer. Boom. Now what I usually do over here is I create my cameras and my scenes and everything else. And later on I switch between that and everything else. I don't want to go into that right now. And oh, by the way, yes, I am recording all of this in OBS doing this right now. So we've got our little text countdown timer, and this is going to be a scene that we're going to create in here that's contained in this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create some text. Now we're going to call this, let's call it break text. And we're just going to come in here. We're going to say be right back. We're just going to use Arial. We're just going to use this font 256. I always suggest using these large fonts and then scaling them back down. We can do all sorts of things to this. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's not worry about it. Be right back. Okay. Now let's take this thing and puff this thing right down here. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create another text element and we're just going to call it the counter. That's what's going to have the counter up there. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the same font, Arial. We're just going to set it to our end message, which is done. You'll see what I'm doing in a minute. So let's come over here. Let's go over here and put our done in here. We'll make it about the same size-ish. And we'll stick that over here. Now, it's always a good thing when you're working in here. Let's move this over a little bit. When you're working in OBS and you're doing this is once you're done, you have things set where you want them, lock them down because otherwise you'll accidentally move them. And there is no undo in OBS, unfortunately. Now let's create our uh, counter. This is built in. If you go to tools, scripts, load, loaded scripts, we have none and you look for, it should open up to here for your scripts that are included. You're going to see countdown. And that's a script. Open that up, click on it, and we're going to say, yeah, let's just do a minute for right now so we can see what's happening. And the source of our text is going to be counter. Look at that. And final text is going to be done. So our text is running, our countdown timer is running, and that's all copacetic and awesome. How about that? Now, when you turn on the counter, it will reset and start counting down again. Now we're just gonna take and create a new scene here. Let's say I have a, um, let's see, main camera scene. And you know, you can go in here, you can create, uh, well, let's just create something here. We're gonna create a, a color source. That's just a background like that. And uh, let's set it to uh, white. Just doing that so you can see what I'm doing over in the other thing. And uh, in the main camera, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a scene from over here. And uh, that's gonna be the text countdown timer. Okay. So now we have the text countdown timer on there. You can't really see it. Let's change that color source to something else. Obnoxious, like uh, blue. Okay, now we have our countdown timer. Let's lock down our color source. Now we can do that. Or let's say I have a camera with me on here and we're doing something and I want to throw this thing up over here. So the beauty of this is if I have a main camera, a second camera, a third camera, a second screen, etc., etc., all I have to do is add this countdown timer to that. Let's do another one. Let's say uh, we create second camera. Maybe that's an overhead or camera or something over here. We're going to add our scene from over here, we're going to add this countdown timer. Yeah, let's add in, 
We're just going to copy this color source from here. Doop, 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 doop. And let's just throw that in here. Boom. Make sure that this is below it so we can see it. Now the beauty of this is let's go back and scale this and skin this. We'll lock these down. Boop. Reset. Let's skin this so it looks a little bit better. Now we don't have to go in here and change it and then go in here and change it. And this is why you set this up like this. Let's go to countdown timer and let's add an awful background color to this thing. We'll do a color source just because I want to see what I'm doing. I'm going to turn this off later and we're just going to call it background don't use. How about that? And we'll just set it to something really, really awful like, uh, oh, I want to do something awful. No, nope, that's not awful. Yeah, pink. Okay, there's our pink. Let's move it down below all this. Now we can see our counter. Let's do some cool stuff to this. Let's reset the counter. Actually, we'll leave it and see if it's done. Um, let's take this text where it says be right back, which is the break, break text. We don't need to do that. That's for moving a cool font for here. Let's select a cool font. I want to use a different font. Let's use uh, mm, Arial, Arial Black. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, let's put a gradient on this thing like that. And we'll select the color to be, I don't know, uh, maybe yellow like that. Let's see what happens. Oh, there you go. Be right back. That's kind of cool. Okay. Let's do that. We'll uh, keep this yellow and we'll okay. Now we got be right back on the pink, which looks terrible. Let's also take our counter and let's do the same thing. Let's change this font. Huh, see that? Done. Let's change this font also to uh, Arial Black. Dupe, uh, excuse me, Arial Black, big, whatever. We'll click it to done. We'll also change, don't mess with that text. We'll also change that gradient. Um, and we'll select the color and we'll also use that cool, awful, whatever, looking done. Now we have a gradient sitting back here. Be right back. Let's reset the counter. Boop. There it goes. All fits. Now what I want to do is I want to be able to place this on the screen in like a little rectangular thing that sits up there. So what I'm going to do is this time I'm going to create a color source and this is the one we're going to use. Let's call this black background. Cool. And we want to select the color, whatever that is. It looks like black to me. We're going to take this guy. We're going to move this guy down below. Now we're on black. Now what we want to do is we want to be able to collapse this thing. And it's all set up like that. Not going to work. Again, we don't have undo in here, but we do have the ability to reset or fit this thing to the screen to reset. That's why I lock these because you can really mess them up. What I do is I right click, I add a filter, I click here, and I add crop, crop pad, and this gives me the control I want. The top, let's do this by 200, maybe more, 400. Um, let's do the bottom, maybe 200. To 400. Hmm. Maybe we'll set this to 450. Maybe we'll set this to 450. That should be about right. Let's do the left uh, 50. We'll do 100. 100 there. Let's do over here 100. I'm probably okay with that. Let's close this. We're going to drag this down here. And now we have our B right back done. Let's make sure the counter fits. We'll move this a little bit over here. Now if we want to be really particular about it, we can come up here and transform and center horizontally. Boop. We can also take our, uh, our break text and play with this. Let's lock that down. Let's lock that down. Uh, you know, unlock these. Maybe we take this dude, play with it right there. And maybe we take this dude, play with it right there. Okay, now we have our element. Now the reason why I did that is because I want to not have black. You could use this as is right now, not have black sitting here. I wanted to put some opacity on this. I go to the black background and again, I'm gonna use a filter 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, believe it or not, use the color correction. Easy squeezy. Now what I do over here is I'm just going to move the opacity. See what's happening there? Like that. Let's do the opacity at 70. Now it's see-through. Now when it's sitting there on the screen and it's playing, I'm going to be able to see through. Like if it's on my uh, screen, it's on where I'm sitting as you saw in the last one. Be right back. Now I can go through and do all sorts of stuff. I can outline this. I can do everything else. But we have everything done. Now the main point of this is now that I've edited all these, you'll notice in my main camera, let's go back here and turn off this dude, boop. You notice in my main camera, it's a bit see-through right there. Here's my second camera. It's a bit see-through right there. Let's change the color source to something else like, uh, oh, I don't know. Let's say we go with white. You'll see it see-through there and you'll see it see through there. That's how you make this timer. Now, now that I have everything here contained in here, any change I make in here will affect both. But I can go through and I can unlock my little text counter. It's one big element sitting in there. I'm not clicking on individual things and I can go, okay, you know what I wanna do? I wanna stick this guy right up here like that on this particular screen. Let's lock that down, and when you turn it on, it plays. But on the second camera, what I want to do, maybe there's a secondary screen or something like that, let me unlock my text counter, grab this, and this guy, I'm actually going to put down at the middle of my screen right here. I want it to sit right here, okay? So turn that, lock that back up, turn that off. So when I'm on my main camera, on my main camera, and I want to take a, a minute break, boom. I'll be right back in one minute. It'll count down and it'll say done. When my second camera or my second screen, I go, uh, I'll be right back. Boom, done. It's sitting down there. Now, you may be saying to yourself or you may not, uh, how do I control this? Go back up to your script that you just added and say, you know what? I want take it to say five minutes. Uh, close it. We're now at five minutes. We go over to here, turn that on. We're now at five minutes. Now let's say I'm live streaming here or something, or maybe I'm doing a tutorial or something like that, and I need to turn on the fact that I'm going to take a five-minute break. Well, I could do that, or 10 minutes, or 20 minutes, or whatever, and there can be a little countdown for these people. You can also use this simple thing at the very beginning of your live stream or something, where you may count down for a minute, or 10 minutes, or <laughs> five minutes, or whatever, and do that. Now, when I switch over to my second screen, let's say I'm doing some sort of tutorial or something like that, you'll see that countdown timer down here. I'd probably go in and make it darker now that I see that. Um, I can turn it on and off simply by clicking this little dot, turn the timer on, turn the timer off. That's pretty cool. And there's how you do a countdown timer in OBS, construct it, and use it wherever you want, be able to change it in one place. I suggest you do that with all your elements on the screen. Anyway, I have free courses over at the university, and watch out because soon my OBS course is coming to the university, and it's going to be very affordable and jam-packed with stuff that you may not have ever seen. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. There's the main screen. It's sitting there um, with the pink on. So apparently I screwed up. And you can get all... S <laughs> Chuck. Well, that last segment sucked. Okay, let's set it, say I'm...